That's lovely cricket. By heaven, that's a good ball from Stephen Harbison. That's where he's got a bowl, and it was well taken as well. Strauss in there at third slip. It was one of those that was, uh, well, around about waist high. It's the sort of catch that you want to take if you're going to win a series. This is the place to bowl, just outside off stump. There it goes, flying off the edge and uh, straight into those hands. At an important time, too. Ponting has gone for nine after a blow to the head. 55 for two, the Australians. That's good stuff from Stephen Harmison. Fast and full and straight. Gosh, they needed that. And it'll whip up the fervour in the crowd again. Well, I think Shane Warne's expecting the bouncer, and that's why he's moving across his crease a lot. We've seen him do it before. We've almost seen the three stumps behind his legs. This time you can see a couple. It's going so far across, he's exposing his leg stump. And Harmison is straight enough to expose that flaw in Warne's technique. Warne gone for 28, Warne 75 for 7. Now then, this is a difficult chance. Jones takes it. It swirled in the air. Jones swirled underneath it. But in the end, he steadied himself, which is just what you have to do. Simon Katic go to the pavilion as well. Mayhem at Lords on the first day of the Ashes of 2005. Well, I wonder if Simon Katic thought that he had to just do something outside his normal game now that the tail end was in, and he had to play a few strokes because you get the sense that he wouldn't have played that shot had he been batting with the top order. In the end, it's a simple catch for Geraint Jones. Katic gone for 27, 178 for eight. Good one. Good one, is it? It's out. It really roared back off the seam. And again, it's this extra bounce that Harmison gets. I think Lee feared the worst. The head went down quickly. It was a good catch, too, by Geraint Jones. It nipped back, ran down the hill, and it might even have been glove. But it was definitely either inside edge or glove, and a good catch from Geraint Jones. Good wicket, and of Brett Lee. He can be dangerous. Gone for three, 178 for nine. Well, that's got to be Clark. That's got to be out. Yes, he's gone. Plum LBW, Harmison has struck again, beautifully bowled. Harmison absolutely spot on target there, and ends up with figures of five for 43. Good pace, LBW. Well, now then, Damien Martin is gone. Let's see if we can pick the line here. Oh, no, that's our, that's plum LBW. Martin obviously thought it was going down the leg side. It hit middle and leg, middle even. It was a beautiful delivery. It was quick. It stayed down a little bit. And, uh, well, this place has come alive. Bomb. Looking to turn it around the corner. Couldn't get on top of the bounce. And sending a dolly. So Ashley Giles in the gully, that's a good wicket for Stephen Harmison. Shane Warne can be a dangerous customer. Turn the ball on the leg side and he succeeded only in lobbing a catch to Ashley Giles. He's got that in the air and he's Simon Jones is going to catch it. You watch this, he's done that too. He keeps finding the outside edge, they keep dropping it off him. The minute he gets an opportunity to help one of the bowlers out, he latches onto it, no trouble at all. Boundary. Down to 1.13 to win now for Australia. Three wickets to take for England.
given the batsman and given the match, that is a staggering gamble that's played off for Harmison. He bowled it perfectly. Just watch this, just watch him. He changes his grip very late, bowls it like a little leg cutter, and uh, he's gone over the top of it. That is superb bowling. of the batsman and joy for every England player on the field. Victory by two runs. England, Harmison has got the wicket and Jones has somehow managed to scramble across and dive and get both hands around the ball to end one of the most thrilling games of cricket there's ever been. Sure, that's a good decision. That I believe, like Michael, that was an inside edge. Ricky Ponting had a word with the umpire. I don't, I don't think he's going to make any difference. I'm not suggesting he said something nasty, but I think he might be trying to point out that there was an inside edge. Was there an inside edge? That is a, an enormous inside edge, and straight through uh, the earpiece came the double noise. Anyway, it's too late. He's gone for 19, 129 for three. at him and got him well he's really strangled him down the leg side he's been trying to bowl him out around off stump I don't know if he hit the glove or the went along the face of the bat no idea Ooh, looks like glove glove it was the glove. glove what a good decision again amazing umpire and he got his hands away from his body with a short ball wanting the single what an innings the applause should last forever. The Australian captain has stood up and played one of the great rear guards. Too high. And that's out. Out. No doubt at all. Now big trouble. If they thought they were in trouble before, now it's bigger trouble. Oh, that's close. That's gotta be very close. Yes, he's given him 
That is a huge wicket. I think he might be suggesting there was a bit of bat was there. It looked that it stayed down a little bit. But uh, Katic looking a little mystified as he walks down the pitch. The impression was it was a bit high. It certainly darted back from Harms. It probably pitched in line and darted back off the seam. But look where it's hit him. Above the knee roll. Hit him way above the knee roll. Harmison's a big, tall guy. And pitched way outside leg stump as well. Uh, an inch or two outside leg stump and too high. That is a bit of a shocker for Simon Katic. He's worked so hard, 59 in over four hours of batting, and he's not happy. 3.14 for seven. In the air, dropped! Dropped him. Well, there he goes again, and uh, the keeper's got to go for those, and uh, he should be catching him as well. That'll be very disappointing. And that's gone. Kasprovic on 19. A perfectly straightforward catch taken by the keeper. This was a full... Delivery that just swung a fraction. Kasprovic going for the drive and a thick edge through to Geraint Jones. 373 for nine now, Australia. The lead is just 114. That's not very sensible. England need 129 to win. Crowd all applauding 7,000 runs for Justin Langer in test matches. And in doing that, he's gone past Sir Donald Bradley. Bowled, he bowled him, what's a cracky. He deserved that, he's bowled a real fiery over at him. It's some good short stuff. He's made a batsman who's batted really well, jump around. And Steve Armisen has done the trick for England. Well bowled. Well, it worked for Michael Vaughan. Gets stuck into him, he said. And that's precisely what he did. I argue a little bit of good fortune there, but at least he made the batsman play at the ball. There have been quite a number of batsmen play on in this series. And Harmison has done the trick. He's broken the partnership. 185 for one with Langer 105. Justin Langer must have been livid. It'd have been drizzling for five minutes or so.